Oprah Winfrey backed off a documentary that was aimed at one of hip-hop's pioneers Russell Simmons. The backlash was ferocious against the billionaire. Most people felt like she was singling out Russell Simmons over others like her friend Harvey Weinstein, that has been charged with numerous infractions against women. But this on top of the Mitchell Jackson series, Oprah's name was looking like mutt to a lot of people. I won't like and say I was rocking with it, because I was not. And yet, Oprah does what Oprah wants. It was not my fight. I appreciated Russell's classy appeal to Oprah. This clearly was not going to stop the actual documentary, but I think it was directed to a friend or a former friend. Anyway, according to MTO News, the documentary was shaky, even though Oprah has stated in a statement that she believes the women allegedly assaulted by Uncle Rush. I am wondering why we cannot seem to get a process moving that discerns between entertainment and legalities. I am tired of seeing people, most anybody not named R. Kelly, being maligned through entertainment or documentaries. Here is what an insider stated. After the disaster of Oprah putting out the unsubstantiated claims against Michael Jackson in leaving Neverland, she couldn't be a part of this. Those women may have been assaulted, I can't say. But that documentary doesn't prove sh asterisk t. You can't make those kind of allegations with no proof whatsoever. If Oprah put her name behind that, her reputation would be ruined. The crazy thing is Oprah is also blocking the movie from making it to Apple TV, which is a very bold move in my opinion. I feel like this is a slick way of undoing what has been done while saving face to her minions of bloodthirsty supporters.